angels willing to hold us in their arms When our worth of stone or ashes And we both passed on Let forever mean forever Howdy everybody, it just dawned on me that I never did do a video of the lighting and the lighting systems and the 12 volt system on our electric bug out bikes. So I figured I would do that real quick, uh, real fast, a shameless plug. If you are so inclined, if you shop on Amazon, please uh, consider using our Amazon link that you'll see in the description of the video. It uh, doesn't cost you anything extra, it throws a little bit on our way and helps us earn our quest for preparation so anyway uh, let's get right to it so first of all uh, the battery and if you watch the other videos you know that this is a 48 volt system in here a little dusty but it's a 48 volt system in here okay so the problem is is you're not going to find too many 48 volt lighting systems out there so what I decided to do is I went with a golf cart regulator okay which is right here this is a regulator for golf carts and it regulates the voltage down from 48 volts to 12 volts and that's good for 10 amps so I can run 10 amps worth of 12 volt accessories off of this regulator now Jen's got the exact same setup on her bike so we're actually running automotive lights on here and you're probably going to be a little shocked with all the different lights that we actually have on the bikes so, with that said, let me, uh, let me go ahead and kick on the, what I call, parking lights, okay, and you're going to see a side marker light, an orange side marker light down here, and uh, on front you see a halo light, and I know it's kind of, it's kind of glaring, but that's a halo light. Uh, let me turn them off for a second. That's just this outer ring here that's lighting up. This inner inner bubble, it lights up too. But that would probably be plenty to drive with. So real quick, let me show you the other lights on the rear. And I use these as like a combination of, uh, of, of side marker lights. That's why it's, it's built on this like little platform. Side marker lights and... Ba you know the lights on the back of the bike so um, Jen actually has two different sets she's got red ones in the very back and then she's got orange ones on the side of her basket on her bike so if you notice they're kind of blinking a little bit that's of, of course to get attention now I can actually and I, I got this loose so I can pull it out easily and show you otherwise it's a little tricky to get out but right in here is a little connector okay and I'll show you on the front light what I can do with that let me go ahead I'll just let me just lay that there for now it'll be fine so anyway before I show you what that little card a uh, little uh, I call it a card whatever you want to call it before I show you what this does this little chip here uh, let me go ahead and turn those off and I want to turn on this center light and you're going to see it doing all kinds of different colors okay there's actually a remote here that's what they call demo mode there's a remote here and I can do that and that is white uh, I know it kind of comes off as like a purplish but that is actually the white uh, this is an RGB lighting system in there so I can literally go red if I want to I can go green I can go blue okay or I can do what they call their white and I can do all kinds of colors here in between that okay can also do things like flash they call that flash uh, I can do strobe they call that strobe okay I can uh, they do this they call that fade for some reason I don't know if it's there it is yeah it's fade but it does it with all the different colors and then the other one here is called smooth that it does but here's the cool thing I'm gonna turn it back on white 
and I can actually lower the amount of light. So now it's down all the way as low as it will go, I do believe, or I can raise the brightness back up all the way. Okay, so it's dimmable on that white light, which would be handy. Okay, so now that you've seen that, and I can actually shut it off from the remote and turn it on, and it will keep it setting. It's only when I turn the actual power off to the unit that it will reset back to its default demo setting. So anyway, let me uh, let me show you this other light here. Now, on this, it's got different modes. This is just like a steady on, okay? So I can change the mode and do this, and then I can actually adjust the speed of that. I can slow it down. It's like a strobe. That's all the way back up. I can hit the mode again and it does this, which is what you see on the back, the tail lights. Okay, switch the mode again, and it kind of does the same thing but inverted, and you can speed it up, slow it down. Uh, that's just like a strobe there, and again, you can slow that strobe down. I'm not trying to give anybody a seizure or nothing, but it's got several different modes that you can go through. That's going back through the original, or and I can I can hit this button here and put it back on the steady light again. So that light there is not dimmable, but again I can run with those lights out. I can turn that one on if I would like. I can go to red, okay, or green, either one, and I can dim that red down. You see that? And I could run at night with everything else blacked out, completely blacked out, except for that red light on dim, or I could go to green on that dim, and uh, and it would be a lot harder to be seen, or I can even do the blue, and it would be a lot harder to be seen, or I can turn around and crank that light up a little bit. And that's just a, a, an automotive driving light. They call that an angel eye system, but it's an automotive driving light is what it is that I put on there. So anyway kind of cool the only uh, downfall to using this is as you can tell I'm I'm using the remote control in front okay it won't work if I'm back behind this because the sensor is actually inside of here okay I'm going to change that um, I'm gonna take the unit apart the infrared sensor is inside of there I'm gonna take the unit apart and I'm actually going to drill a hole and I'm going to mount the sensor on the outside of the housing, like right there, facing back, so that I can actually use the remote from being on the bicycle instead of having to be in front. So, anyway, I kind of wanted to show you the lighting system. Um, these lights pull very little power from, uh, from this regulator. So, I would imagine we probably aren't even pulling an amp of power with all the lights running on full so with that under consideration that gives me about nine more amps that I can play with to add other accessories and I plan on doing so I do plan on having a uh, um, I do plan on having some USB ports for charging and whatnot uh, I do plan on having some 12 volt accessory jacks so that would allow me to use like a, a, a 12 volt air compressor or anything like that um, if we needed to air up tires quickly or whatnot. So uh, yeah, lots of room to add stuff, but I just realized I never did show you uh, the lighting system that I did on this. So I figured I would uh, make a quick video and show you what that was all about. Alrighty, thanks for watching.